So we've met our new character who's quite the opposite from Akira, with Akira wanting to uh, do 100 things before becoming a zombie while she's doing 100 things in order to not become a zombie. And I assume with this episode, we're probably going to see the rest of the cast or at least yet another one of the cast since we have four people in the group in total. So it'll be exciting. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. I have my full length and full discussions up on Patreon, but other than that, let us get started. They look like Pokemon trainers. Oh, oh, it's the host club. <laughs> That's show, I, I believe. There's nothing to be afraid of here. How are you guys keeping all the zombies out? <gasps> oh, he's the manager. Or is this before? It could be before the zombie attack. Definitely come back. It's a promise. Is this the uh, is this the uh, the blonde guy that we see that who's going to join the group or not? Oh my god! This is after. Okay, this is during the, or it's just the gang war, whichever one. <laughs> no, no, this is okay. Okay, this is the. Who? Damn. You see that guy in Damn, dude. Fucking whole fucking clubs on a war right now. Kencho? <laughs> I'm just over like I couldn't figure out whether that was supposed to be a jump scare or not. <laughs> okay, so they are showing the 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 the, the recap essential in the opening. Few hours ago, alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you might just be the unfortunate person who just grows like stubbles, you know? <laughs> what? <sighs> yeah, you might want to wash that off. <laughs> Is that sink connected to the shower? The internet must be back up. And then he loses like his friends too. But <laughs> it's a zombie apocalypse. He's like, hey, you wanna hang out? Come on now, I've quit my job. <laughs> so that's why he's coming to uh Shijuku then? Kencho? Waiting for your friends to text you back. <laughs> for what? Mm-hmm. Do you at least have, like, a good chunk of money in your bank, at the very least? Oh, Kencho. <gasps> Wait, is this the blonde guy? <laughs> no, the best friend of the dead, huh? There's no way a guy like you. Oh, is he part of the rugby team? Ooh. <laughs> I'm just like, is this a cosplay club? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> I mean, he is in Shinjuku, so. Does he feel like, oh, he's no more water rider? Yeah, you see, he's camping out here. That's the last. Here he is in a dire situation. Ooh, nothing but water. Oh my god. Anyways, as he's uh, in this dire situation, Akira's got a call. Hey, dude, you want to hang out? <laughs> Uh, she's... <laughs> well, man, was... it was... I was thinking, I'm just like... Pick the bondage room. <laughs> How does she get infected, but not you? Hold on. Hold on. This is how it all ends for me. We kind of went to, like, the cinematic view again, which is... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh, he's thinking about Akira too, huh? <laughs> he laughed so hard he farted. <laughs> Those were the days in college. <gasps> Man, sweating out here.
Hey, dude. <laughs> How you doing right now? Huh? <laughs> He's not in a dire situation. Hey, yo, look at that vibrator in the back. <laughs> Nah, dude, I'm coming to pick you up. Wow, that guy just ran out to a trip, a trap. Your friend's coming on over, dude. We're gonna hang out. <laughs> oh, they spent four years together. Oh my god. Why is he- <laughs> Why is most of the pictures just him naked? <laughs> Real estate agent. Of course, of course. He's an extrovert out here. <gasps> the diet people! Oh! Damn! Really out here bragging to him? Oh! Oh! He's dying on the inside! <laughs> Understandable. Just walk away. But it's really hard to just do that, huh? You know, you're not in his position, so it's hard to... Yeah, you're living the good life. You're just like, ah, you should just quit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit. We're back here again at the... <laughs> at the host club. Show, that's his name, right? Oh, all of them that turn into zombies. <laughs> zombies, man, they love noise. <laughs> this this chunk of flesh that's in front of you right now? Duh, doesn't matter. What is that horn sound? <laughs> we must follow it. <laughs> It's always very funny with like how uh, zombies are with like noises. Oh wow, he just stuck a wow. He's hiding in the water. Huh. Pretty good, pretty good. <sighs> Better be careful. Still, there might be stragglers. <gasps> oh, and then here's this motherfucker walking like a zombie. Y'all gonna hug? <laughs> you broke your friendship, huh? I mean, understandable. You guys were also very drunk. <laughs> oh, no wonder he got all the zombies out here. He needed a time to yell. Just to apologize. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, well, hold on. We've got a whole bunch of jo- uh, We've got two jocks over here. Hold on. <laughs> the kinky zombies, dude. <laughs> well, time to start jumping roofs. We're roof jumping. Or we're just gonna- I mean, Akira has technically jumped off the- Oh, we are roof jumping. Let's fucking go, we're parkouring. Well, it's either you fucking break your neck or you get eaten by zombies, so... <laughs> Guess we'll find out by jumping. He'll be the first tester, eh? Ooh. Ooh. Well, at least he, uh, he didn't technically tuck, but he certainly rolled. Well, he tucked a little bit. Holy shit, <laughs> You got balls of steel. Yeah, come on now. So you'd rather be eaten by zombies. I mean, I get it, I understand. I wouldn't be able to do it either. <laughs> He was just trying to put up a front. Oh, lying to their faces. Oh. Oh, he was working in a bad company too. Oh, shit. 
It's all a lie? Or... Oh, no. It was true, but it didn't make him happy. <laughs> Meanwhile, huh? You were suffering, huh? Well, they were both suffering, but they were both doing it in their own ways. <laughs> that makes sense. Panache? Hmm. It's always trying to lift people's spirits. Sincerely entertain my clients. <laughs> I was gonna say, does he... A stand-up comic! Wow! That's a hard job. But I guess there's gonna be a little bit less of the stand-up comics around in this world, huh? Just quit already and become one right now. It's a new- it's a new story for you! Oh shit, the kinky zombies! <laughs> They're coming! Mmm. I don't know about always, but yes. <laughs> he just gets caught by the zombies. Oh my god! <laughs> I actually had a genuine scare there for a second. <laughs> Holy shit, he just stripped- How do you do this mid-air? I'm so surprised. <laughs> he, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> 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 completely buck naked. <laughs> oh, you wanted to be like a. a, a Stand-up comedian, huh? I scraped my dick. Ah! Oh! Ooh! <laughs> Ouch! It was his nuts. <laughs> They're both just naked. You always do naked jokes. Naked? This guy has not had anything to eat in three days, and now he's drinking alcohol. Well, he had, he had some chips, I guess. Tend to be really successful later on. I don't know about the artist part, but... <laughs> Saves us all from the zombie infection. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of shoulder. All this man wants is to... Yeah, all he wants to do is finish his bucket list. <laughs> oh, they just hung out and drank and eat snacks on the rooftop. Wow. He finished his first, uh, one of his, he finished two of his stuff, right? Technically, he crossed the first one out, was the beard one, because he couldn't do it. All right, I assume we're going to meet the blonde girl in the next episode then. All right, all right, all right. Oh, well, um, I was going to say I'm going to write my notes, but <laughs> I'm not writing notes, so we're going <laughs> to, we're going to go back to the center. All right, so that was episode three of ZOM 100, Bucket List of the Dead. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a pretty good episode. We're continuing with our uh, character introduction, right? We've met our new character in the previous episode. Still don't know her name, but uh, we're gonna get it eventually. And here we are with our uh, our third member of the group, which is Kensho, Akira's best friend. They both played rugby for four years together, and they both had jobs that they didn't like, but they both dealt with it in different ways. <laughs> Akira eventually just got that happiness sucked right out of him where he got very envious and jealous of people's success stories which is very understandable right when you're uh, when you're fucking down and then you see other people having such a great time, it's hard for you to be like, wow, I'm glad for them, right? I'm happy for them. When you're the one who's fucking suffering, right? It's like, how fucking dare these people have such a nice and happy time while I'm over here fucking suffering? Fuck this guy, right? 
<laughs> well, Kencho, uh, despite not really liking his job, he doesn't want to showcase, I would assume, he doesn't want to showcase potentially that weakness of him. So he decides like he's going to hide it and he's, he's going to talk about how great his job is instead, how he's dating this model, uh, this model chick, right? And he gets to meet the people of like the, the diet members, which I, uh, I believe... I, I was recently watching Gate again, so I, I so when he said diet members, I'm just like, oh, they're pro they were like people from the government, right? Like very high up people and all that. So for the most part, that's kind of what I know. Like you know, he's like, oh, I'm I'm I can I'm talking to people in high positions of powers, that sort of thing. And <laughs> well, with Kencho, uh, when he finally yells out his true feelings, like how Akira did to him. He says that he doesn't he doesn't like his job and he wanted to become a stand-up comic this whole time and we saw that was his first memory, right? With Akira being the guy who always laughs at his jokes and that's you know, that's that that's that's very fun because it's always nice to have someone who's going to be there to to genuinely laugh at your joke instead of, you know, doing a little pity laugh or whatever. Someone who genuinely finds you very funny. It makes you feel like you're you're a funny guy, right? It makes you feel like maybe you do have a chance at being a stand-up comic, although I will say with Kensho, um if if his if his jokes cuz Akino was talking about uh, Kencho and how he's like, oh, you always do those naked jokes. And I'm like, all right, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if, uh, uh, all right, here's my thing. If, if you want to do a, a, if you want to be a stand-up comedian <laughs> and one of your biggest thing is to do naked jokes. All right. If, if one <laughs> if this, if this is your fucking joke, <laughs> all I'm going to say is that I hope that you put that uh, you you put that disclaimer away eh, when you make your stand up co uh, comic jokes, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, because then there are gonna be a lot of people who aren't going to think that these are jokes, and, and instead it's just pure s sexual uh, sexual harassment. Would it be sexual? It's not sexual assault because you're technically not assaulted, them, so it'd be it'd just be full on sexual harassment, and uh. It, uh, I was gonna say disturbance of public, uh, of the part- uh, I mean, it kinda is if you're just walking around naked, but, you know, it, it, technically, a comic place wouldn't be a public area, it'd be a private business, right? <laughs> well, so I'm trying to figure this out, but, I- <laughs> God, the the fucking the this this poor guy who fucking scraped his nuts. <laughs> so so fucking sad. Oh yeah, I, I was thinking. I was like, why did Akira also freaking uh, got naked as well? I, I remember it's because he was hiding in the uh, in the fountain and he decided that he was going to. He, well, he he has to dry his clothes off, so of course he got naked as well. So very understandable. And uh, I, I will say, when it comes to, like, the whole idea of, like, nakedness, right? I, I think in Japan, they would, for the most part, you know, not really put too, too much of a shame to that. Because, I mean, they literally have public baths, right? They... They they have public baths where people can just be in in, in 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 the fucking bath together, all naked and everything, right? You and some other fucking strangers. It's it's like the idea of uh, nakedness for the most part to to most people in Japan. They they wouldn't be they they, they wouldn't be all that bothered by by the whole idea of nakedness. And I know that there are some Japanese shows where. Uh, and also, it, we, yeah, with like the Japanese shows, like they're kind of fine with showcasing like some of the nakedness. It's just that, you know, they, it still gets censored and all that. But just knowing that this person is out here just fucking flailing their, their dick around or whatever. And it's also particularly when it comes to guys, right? When, when it comes to guys, I don't... Uh, when I used to watch Japanese TV shows, like, I often see it with dudes, like, they, you know, they, they just be straight up censor and all that, but it just, usually, it's, it's the dudes, I don't really often see the women getting, uh, the, the women getting into those tour of scenarios, and then, you know, having the, the, the censorship on them, not to say that they don't have censorship, they, they, they should, but, yeah, I feel like I often only see it with guys, just because I, I guess, you know, when it comes to that sort of humor, like, oh, it's haha -ha funny when guys do it, but it's not, I would assume it's not funny when women do it, because they're just, it would be more encountered as, as, uh, sexy or whatever, you know, if women do it, because, 
<laughs> but in, in, in this sort of feel, right? Oh, haha, dicks, you know, funny. <laughs> The guy is naked, very funny, haha. Huh? It, it was actually, I was thinking about uh, Shaolin soccer again, which is uh, towards the end of the scene where, uh, towards the end of the movie, right, with the big final attack, and then you see the, the goalie, and like before he gets spun away, like he, his, his clothes gets ripped off, and you see his like bare naked bum. And you know, that's supposed to be funny, like haha, ha, you know, his whole clothes got ripped off, except for his shoes and his gloves, I think. No, I think his gloves got ripped off too, except for his shoes. So, you know, it's like, haha, funny naked man, right? It's it's that idea of haha, funny naked. So I I understand where Kensho is coming from. <laughs> but if that's like going to be, I, I again, I hope that that's not the only sort of fucking joke that you're going to have as a stand-up comedian. <laughs> you know, being a stand-up comedian is very difficult. And the, uh, the, the ability to just weave jokes and stories together and, and getting the entire, uh, the entire audience with you, right? That, that's very difficult, and that's why we don't have a lot of stand-up comedians around. But, you know, I think I did mention there's, there's going to be a lack of stand-up comedians in this world, alright? <laughs> the majority of the populations are fucking dead, so... <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, the other thing that I was talking about, uh, that I was thinking about with, like, this this one scene where it's just Kensho and Akira just hanging out with each other naked, I, I, I do find it very fun because, like, they did play in rugby, and even though I don't know rugby, and I also don't know American football either, but the one thing that 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 we often make jokes about uh, in terms of like uh american football is that it's kind of gay right it's just a bunch of buff dudes piling on top of each other just dudes hugging each other and all that and then you'll see sometimes when uh when when the dudes score a good goal right his teammates will come up and slap him on his ass or whatever right it's it's kind of gay <laughs> And it's just like a bunch of sweaty dudes in a locker, you know, getting naked and everything. So like the idea of it sounds very, <laughs> right, very manly or whatever, but also kind of gay. So it, that that's what I was, that, that's the sort of vibe that I was getting from Akira and, and Kensho. The fact that they both played rugby and also the fact that he's also been getting naked as well during, during the rugby years. <laughs> Very fun. Very fun. But I do genuinely enjoy that they're not particularly uh, upset at each other's nakedness, right? But uh, that kind of goes back to like Japan culture and how I would assume they see each other uh, in, in like the, the feeling of like nakedness and all that, right? Because I know that that's kind of a similar thing in France. And how, like, they see nakedness, right? They don't really see it as a, a vulgar thing. They just see, like, the, well, this is our natural body and such. So, I, I do like that these, this is how these two are just interacting with each other. You know, perhaps, I don't know, maybe other people will see this and they're just like, wow, that's kind of weird, that's kind of fucking gay. And, like, I can, I, I can kind of understand it. But I like, I, I like that this is how they're interacting with, with each other, which is very fun, very nice. The other thing that I find very funny uh, with this uh, kind of B-plot that we had with this host club and this uh, and show, this number one host and all that, he was about to die, everybody was uh, getting turned and such, and as he was uh, getting close to death, right, this, uh, uh, th this motherfucker was this close to just getting his uh, neck strangled, you know, getting eaten and all that, getting turned into a another zombo. Uh, all the zombies just stop because they hear a car and suddenly they're like all right gotta gotta walk over to the car you know what is this what is this big sound that's going on right now it makes <laughs> makes no sense right even the zombies that were inside they were just like all right time to go out <laughs> time to go uh check out this fucking noise that's happening right now and, and, and so they're yeah they're, they're all uh, they're all gathering around the car. The car was getting on fire and Akira was hiding in this area, right? I think, right? He was just h hiding in the fountain wing for the zombies to uh, come on over. And since the car did blow up, there's no more of the, the horn sound, right? And Akira was yelling. So then the zombies with their super fucking hearing, super duper hearing, they're just like, oh, somebody is yelling out here. You know, I don't hear the car noise anymore. I'm gonna head on over to where this yelling is. And 
and, and 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 then the zombies when they were coming into the hotel they were like much more rushing towards them they're like oh yeah this is the here this is the, the sound I hear, that's the voice of a human, which means flesh. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta speed walk over there compared to the, 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 the car one where they're just like, oh, I'm gonna just casually mosey on over it. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's that weird thing with, uh, with zombies, I feel, where it, it's, a, it, it, it really feels like a, a bit of a convenience a lot, a lot of the times when it comes to, to, to zombies and like what they can do and what they can't do. It kind of kind of makes me think about like uh, The Walking Dead season one with uh, the zombies tearing into the, the horse. Yeah, it was ep episode one of season one, right? When the zombies came and tore into the skin of a horse and it was just kind of like, okay, do zombies have like super strength or something? Because if they did, they'd be, that, that's how they'd be able to just tear using their hands, right? Just fucking tear into the horse just like that. But then for some reason, they can't use that strength to, like, break into the glass and such. So, <laughs> it's it, 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 so it, not, not, it, it, that, that's just a tad little bit different. But uh, I'm also thinking about uh, World War Z, where... Uh, uh, where where they they had to like distract the zombies by by making noise in like the lab right towards the end of the movie and all that towards towards the lab where uh, they they were making all this noise but then at the same time it's just like well there's are other zombies in the in in the lab making noises right there's one of them just banging their head against the wall but for some reason the zombies aren't paying attention to that because I guess somewhere in their mind they're just like yeah that's the sound of other zombies banging their head that's not the sound of humans right i'm not gonna go bother those people i'm gonna i'm not gonna bother my fellow zombies right i you know it's like are they able to just differentiate who specifically made the sound so it, it kind of goes back to this point with the uh, with the car and it's like well i you think that the zombies first priorities would be i see someone who's not human i see some someone who is human sorry i see someone who's a potentially potential meat right a potential meal or just a potential hoax yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna infect them and all that you would think that that's the case like they have their eyes right on him he's standing right in front of them they were this close to, to taking him but then they hear a sound of a car and they're just like huh huh what's 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 going on here i, I wonder what that sound is it's time for us to saunter on over to the car. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. But like at the same time, right? Other than that car making a very loud noise above everything, which is understandable above everything. Don't you think all before that, like the zombies were making some other sort of noise as well that would attract each other? But again, it, it goes back to like, are zombies able to differ differentiate the noises between zombies and humans? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's got their own rules of zombies, right? And and here in this world, it feels like the rules of the zombies are a little bit more familiar with, what is it? Low I, I'm, I'm still thinking about Left 4 Dead, <laughs> right? It's, I, I feel like it's a little bit familiar to that. But then we also got some like George Romero type zombies as well, where they're just casually walking. And it seems like we might also have, like, special type zombies, which is why I'm thinking of Left 4 Dead. Or State of Decay, honestly. State of Decay got, like, special infected as well. I would say The Last of Us, but, you know, I don't really care much about that series. <laughs> so, you know, my, 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 my reference point right now, it's either Left 4 Dead, State of Decay... Or, you know, the, the hundred of other fucking zombie movies after zombies blew up in, in Hollywood. We started having a whole bunch of zombie related films and books and, 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 and what is it? Spin-offs and everything, right? But that is pretty much all I have to say. And I will continue with this discussion on Patreon. So if I don't see you guys on Patreon, then I will see you when I see you. Thank you guys for sticking around. And, you know, if I... Have anything else to say, I'll, I'll write it in the description down below.